M0 FXB. I had someone contact me saying, can you connect a Nextian screen straight to the head of an MMDVM jumbo hotspot? So I thought, well, yeah, you can. And so this, is, this video is to show that person how to do it and where to connect it. Zero FXP. So we've got a jumbo hotspot here. And um, if, what I want you to see is if you look here, see these pins along the bottom here. If you look carefully at what they say, the one on the far left says 5 volt, then it says TX, then RX, then ground. This is the lower ones, the lower ones here. So we're going to solder some pins in there and connect our next to screen. Right, we're ready to go. Cup of tea again. Bit of solder, we're going to tin the iron. Um, I'm not going to show you all of my soldering because it's rubbish. And I can't really see. Right, we've got one on there. It's rubbish, but it's on there. So it's reasonably solid. Right, let's keep going. Okay, we did it. And look how bad my old soldering is from the antenna. You'll laugh at that. But it works. So, it's on there. I'm going to put the pins on there now to show you the order they need to go. Okay, the pins are on there. So it's red, let's see if we can zoom it in a bit nicer. Red, blue, yellow, black. Red, blue, yellow, black. So it's five volts, uh, receive, transmit, earth, or ground, should I say. You can see there, five volt, receive, transmit, ground. There you go. On the next to the screen, it's like this, look. TX is blue, RX is yellow. And you need to, the opposite on the board. I know I've said that so many times, but it's important. Then you've got the five volts and the ground. Okay, let's get the board back on the MMDVM. So that's what it looks like when the board's off. Don't worry about the broken mic, uh, micro USB. We have two. Right, we line up these pins and slide it back together. Okay, all the pins are lined up. It's back together. What we're going to do now is, I know it's, it's all a bit battered, this, because I've used, it's been a bit hammered, this. But in the end, we're going to have a jumbo hotspot. And this screen's going to light up nice and br bright and colourful. Now, there is a setup process to program in the actual next gen screen. I have got a video on that, but that's separate. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how to just go into PyStar and just select the correct settings for your device to work with the PyStar. Right, we've got the PyStar plugged in. We've booted it up and we've changed the settings. You just go into configuration here, like so. Ignore the background noise. And look, you changed. It was on OLED screen, which is the blue little screen. We select Nextium and we select Modem and this we didn't change this one and we apply changes and then we get what you can see next. Here's the hotspot working without the screen connected correctly. So what you'll see is a little blue OLED screen working. And you can see here the pipe, you know, the settings for an OLED screen. Let's change these settings. Right, we've got the Pi Star plugged in, we've booted it up and we've changed the settings. You just go into configuration here, like so. Ignore the background noise and look, you changed. It was on OLED screen, which is the blue little screen. We select Nextium and we select Modem and this we didn't change this one. And we apply changes and then we get what you can see next. 
Right, so you can see the screen's on now. Let's wait for someone to TX. If I just TX my radio, you can see my screen comes on. That's me changing over. All right, we're back on. And what we're going to do, we're going to give a call out and see if anyone comes back to us. Um, there's a bit of back, background noise here, but we'll just give it, any, give it a go anyway. And then you can see what happens. M0FXB, M0FXB, calling for a contact on reflector. Kilo 4 Bravo Charlie Mike, you're receiving me, Mike Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo. There you are, so he is receiving me. There you go, I will reply to him. Just a last look at the wires and then I'll end the video. 7-3.